And is this your first time working with Laura? Yeah, it is. Um, actually, I'm kind of the newest uh, member of the team as far as that's concerned. Um, the other two, Seth Bellison and John Todd, they've worked with her on a couple other projects before, but I was brought on um, in December to come and help with the project. So happy to be here. What type of dance are you doing uh, in this piece? What type of dance? Well, it's a conglomeration of many forms of dance. Um, we have um, elements of classical ballet, um, contemporary style movement. Um, we also have some of the Highland dance uh, movements that Laura is so famous for. And um, that's been an interesting challenge for us because many of us are not trained um, in, in that type of dance. And so there's been a learning curve for us and it's been really kind of fantastic to, to kind of experience this new form of dance and also incorporate the other elements into, um, into this project to kind of see how they all kind of mesh together. And so it's been great. Tell me about um, learning the footwork and how challenging that is. Well, thankfully, in classical ballet, which is what I'm mainly trained in, um, petit allegro, it's very fast movement and things like that. It kind of lends itself well to this style, the Highland dance that, um, that Laura is, has, is working on with this project. And so for those reasons, it's been, um, it's been pretty easy as far as that's concerned. She's also been very um, kind and patient with us to, to help us kind of get some of the footwork down and just be like, nope, back to one and we'll try it again and things like that. But, um, but it's actually, you know, I think most of us come from a classical ballet vocabulary and so we're able to kind of institute those, um, those faster footworks in with relative ease and a lot of um, rehearsal. When you're working with like a bunch of new dancers like this, is there competition? You know what? No, and strangely enough, because this we're mostly friends in this group, actually. Um, Laura really wanted to create a positive atmosphere within the rehearsal setting, and so she was very much open to collaborating with um, our peers, people that we had worked with in the past and things like that. So actually, there's only about three or four of the dancers that I've never worked with before. Um, so it's actually been a lot of fun, really, that we get to come together and, and work on this great project as a whole um, and also reconnect with some old friends and things like that. It's, it's been really kind of great and I think that's something that Laura really wanted. She was adamant about that, about having a very positive atmosphere. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's working to the benefit of, of the project because the rehearsal process was so smooth, so easy, and then now we're shooting this and you know we're taking it all in and, and it's, it's going very smoothly actually, which is really, really great. And um, what type of choreographer is she compared to other choreographers? Laura is her own, um, her own being, which I love. You know, that's part of the thing that really interested me about this project is that it was unlike anything that I had ever done before. I knew that I would get to utilize my talents um, and my experiences with other choreographers, but also bring that to something that was fresh and new. And working with Laura has. Um, has really kind of been an education for me in in how we can take a you know a traditional dance form and really kind of expand upon it and grow within the field and I think it's going to hopefully um, show some positive results. So.